What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. Alright guys, here we are, week three, and it's time for our debut in the ACC. We're gonna be taking on Maryland today, and I just noticed that Turtle is wearing yellow lipstick. Alright, now recruiting obviously in the very early stages. I, don't, I think I might have one lead on all these guys. Shane Anderson, I literally just found him like moments before I hit record. 77 overall, he's a gem, he was a 70, went all the way up. So I'm hoping that we can jump on him, because he'd be starting right away for us. We really, like some of these positions, we just need higher end guys. Very few positions that we actually need long term depth. Lonnie Stevenson, hey, 82 overall linebacker. We're still in contention for him, maybe we can swoop in and uh, get this guy. He'd be starting a middle linebacker for us for sure. Andre Parrish, the one person we have a lead on who I'm going after right now. 79 overall halfback. He's 88 speed, 86 excel, so decent. You know, I can work with it, and he's not going to start next season. He's going to have one year on the bench. Then we got guys like Harrison here I'm just going after. 74 overall guard. Not bad. He's the number one overall guard, apparently. So Lamb's only getting 50 points right now. I mean, I'm hoping that we can get our hands on him, but 71 I'm not really too worried about. I took all his points away to keep trying to scout people, which is how I found Anderson up there. Joe Ryan's a Juco free safety. That works for us. I don't even know if he's a sophomore, junior. I don't care. He'll be around for the whole thing. Henry Swain, athlete. He's going to be a cornerback, though. So we could really use another one of those. I think he might just be our fourth string, but that's fine. That'll really, that'll completely solidify that position. And worst case scenario, if we have four cornerbacks who are pretty good and we don't get either of these safeties, at least we can slide one over. Braylon McMillan, again, I'm just sort of setting up contingency plans to try and get a linebacker. We're going to need one because Thornton's out of here. And Holland, another low lock guy, 76 overall free safety. So if Ryan, for some reason, doesn't work out, hopefully we can at least get Holland. Brian Fry is garbage, but I'm pretty sure this is Antonio Fry's little brother. So, nepotism. Now, you will have noticed that I did not have a single tight end up there. I have not been able to find one even decent tight end. I think the best one I found so far is a 68. There's a Juco who's a 70 overall, but he lives in California and wants to stay in California. So we're locked out automatically. Now, these guys down here, I have not, I just added them to the board. I'm not taking any more points away from other guys. I still have to scout them. You know, maybe Schroeder, we might have a chance at swooping in, grabbing him from uh, Louisiana, but we might just not have any good tight ends next season. It could be that, but maybe there's a gem in this group. There hasn't been so far, but I can hope. But like I said, Frazier was our plus seven Deshaun Gaddy Award winner. So he went up to an 85 overall after all was said and done. His speed went up to like, yeah, I got 95 Excel on him. Speed's up to a 90. I think I had his loosening up a little bit. So actually you could do a lot. His break tackle's up to an 82, as you can see right there. So they really give you a lot of wiggle room to mess with that before the overall starts going nuts. But yeah, tight end, we're losing Mason. And obviously Barnes we threw over here just for sake, keeping him on a roster. 5'10", 173 pounds. I, I should have thought this one through more. But he's gone too. So Evans, our 64 overall tight end. He's the only one that's going to be left on the roster next year. If I can't find anyone, we're playing walk-ons. So I have, um, I don't know, mixed expectations for this season. I can totally see us getting smashed and going 3-9 and nine or something like that. But we held up with Oregon pretty good last season. And that was the number four overall team in the country. They were pretty good overall, much better than what Maryland is right here. It would be kind of funny for the channel if we won the national championship with UMass this year. Because if that happens, then this series finale, because I keep everything written down on a calendar, would come pretty close to the North Texas season finale. So we could just have everything ending at once and just moving on into like a brand new refresh. But we'd basically have to run the table here, and I'm not even sure we can get past Maryland, let alone the fact that we still have Clemson on on the uh, the docket, and whoever we're playing in the conference championship if we get there. And then if we got to the national championship, who knows who we'd be playing. So let's just hope for 6-6, six and six maybe. South Carolina's already 2-0 in the conference. All right. All right, Sledge, let's see if you can do anything with this one. Ooh, ooh, oh, wait a second, maybe he can. 
this would be a, that's one heck of a way to start a career. It wasn't a touchdown, but 83 yards. All right, so um, I'm, I'm guessing we're not going to miss Henry that much after all. Okay, time for Hill to uh, break in here. I'm never going to know anybody's first name. In case you're ever wondering, I don't know anyone's first name on this team, and that will never happen. Speaking of people I don't know the first name, there's Mason. Didn't quite get in the end zone, but he got right to the one. David Mason. All right, I keep wanting to call him Derek Mason after the wide receiver who I think retired in like 2007. And Hill gets in with a rushing touchdown. Zero yards, is what I mean. All right. That's the way to start off a season. All right, and not to be outdone, they just return the kick for a touchdown on us. Well, saves me time, I guess. Upside, they missed the PAT. There's Winston. Uh, it's hoping for a block to be picked up down there, but I guess not. It's expecting way too much out of you, Wade. Yeah, Winston can't hold on. Oh, they're all freshmen. I gotta put it on conservative catch. That's the thing. Fourth and two. You, you know who I am. I'm gonna go for it. Do I trust my line enough, though? I did. And it worked. Barely picked it up, but he got it. And Mason up the middle. That went right over the linebacker's head. This is gonna sound bad, but trust me, it's not. Playing with Paul Hill so far has not felt any different than playing with Moore. But you gotta remember, Hill is 12 overall points lower and also a freshman. So that's very insulting to Moore, if anything. Dang it. I tried to throw it away and uh, ran into him before I clicked the button. Well, there's only one play we can go to. It got blocked at the last second. Well, we can't take advantage of the missed PAT after all. All right, Carter, let's see what you got. Nope. All right, Holy Cross got uh, bodied. Nope. Oh my God, Holy Cross got bodied again. Luckily, we got some speed out there right now, but... Okay. And is this me, or does Holy Cross look like real thick? Like a linebacker out there. Like, look at him. He is definitely bigger than our linebackers. All right, this, the blocking is so good over there. There was no one on that side of the field. Oh, Tom is coming with a clutch tackle. And then I think both of us just went down injured, it looked like. Now, all right, I'm good. Their running backs hurt, though. And, yeah, I blew that coverage. Oh, that guy knew it was up. Got past him anyways. Got it up to the 40. Oh, Evans with a good, good catch. Let him over just a little too far. He did like a half jump. All right, not bad from the guy who's probably going to be our starting tight end next season. Nice blitz. Come on, 70. Thank you for that block. Frazier takes that for 23 yards inside the 20. That was Walter Allen throwing that one. Why is he already... Did we seriously already get Hill injured? And then he fumbles it. Because I went for a truck. Because I... I don't know. I, I come... I don't know if he was down or not. He might have been. Yeah, he was down. I don't know if the game's going to give it to me, though. After the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. reversed. All right, thank you. All right, their running back broke his forearm. He's out for six weeks. We still got Allen out here. All right, everyone played man. No one wanted to cover Allen. All right, Hill's back in here. <laughs> We're two quarters into the season, and now I'm actually glad we have a couple of wide receivers on the roster. Or not wide receivers. Quarterback, that one. Winston with his touchdown. I was going to take off, and they were trying to stop me. And luckily, the zone coverage, no one followed him. I knew that was coming. And again, all the blocks are there, all there. <sighs> I 
I, yeah, I, I don't think we're getting a stop today. All right, so they've marched us into the red zone now. Uh, not a lot really going on. Oh, good change of direction on that. I tried to go. I'm, I've got an aggressive on stripping the ball. I'm hoping their backup running back is garbage. I don't know if that's true or not. It's really hard to judge the talent of any offense out there when they're playing our defense. So I really have no idea if we're any good or not. See what I mean? Like, tight coverage. And he still managed to get that pass right in there. I saw that and ran right in everyone. Our biggest difficulty, it is, it's like early North Texas. We can't shed blocks. So we vacuum seal to them. We can't break off. So all the running plays will work every time. Because we can't shed blocks and we can't tackle yet. We'll be able to. Year five will be pretty good. Sledge, another good return. The blocks are definitely holding up over on this side again. All right, good pass to Mason. Got out of bounds. Never mind, they want to review it. Again, NFL catch. Stop reviewing Mason. He's, uh, he's that good. Oh my god. I, I don't. I threw that to Circle, who was the wide, who's number 10, actually. I threw it to number 10, who's all the way on the other side of the line of scrimmage. That was so inaccurate. Somehow, it got to Mason. Somehow, it got through that guy's hands. Okay. I don't know how that works, but, uh, thank you. Oh. Uh, that was a bad read, but not a bad read. Uh, I thought he made that cut sooner. So I threw it thinking the cut was coming right there and there was no one around him. And I was very much so mistaken. Yeah, see, he was he was barely even starting the cut when I threw it. Okay, so now I ruined Paul Hill's day. But at least it was my fault and not the computer just deciding this is going to be an inaccurate pass. Good coverage, Holy Cross. It's going up. Thank you. And Thomas picks that one off. All right, we stay back in this thing. Okay, Evans, good catch, but you ran the wrong way. Mason over there. Gets out of bounds. We're really good at uh, holding on to our timeouts. It's not going to mean anything if we don't put any points on the board, though. So, yes, you'll notice there's Winston as circle. Last time I ran this play, Mason got the ball. Well, this time I actually threw it to him. Let's do another snag. Blocks got there. Hale gets in for his second rushing touchdown in the day. And he didn't get injured at the end either. Okay, someone tackle him. I know I have strip ball on aggressive. But you're not going to wrap him up at all? Oh my god, look at how fast these guys are going. And he got out and out. And I think they got the wind to their back, so they might have a chance at this fairly uh, long field goal here. No, never mind. All right. Going to the halftime, up 21 to 20. And we're about to start off the season with another game that is not going to let it be a doubleheader. Let's just hope for the dub, I guess. Draw play again. Kills us because uh, we can't break off any blocks. Oh, there we go. Thornton and the Blitz got there. It was a, pa a run play. And uh, we missed a couple tackles. He's shedding off everyone. Again, regular tackling is on conservative. There we go. Oh. I almost over-pursued, but he stumbled just enough. I'm like, oh, wait a second. Uh, no one's covering the tight end. This seems problematic. No, it wasn't. So if we could just go ahead and not give up a first down here, that would be incredible. But instead we give up the first down because they realize Holy Cross is a huge weakness. Come on, Carter. And I get the first down. And in for the touchdown. The Blitz did nothing. All right, now they're going to go for two. Which, uh, judging by how this drive has gone, they're probably about to get it. 
Yeah, there it is. Right, let's try and get Frazier some runs. There we go. That's a nice one. I think it's like his third carry on the day now. Yeah, three for 15. All right, 62. You see that linebacker who was standing directly in my path? Should have gone for him, not the guy all the way over to the other side. This looks like a blitz. This might be a good call. It was not a blitz. Oh. I should have thrown that to him. I thought that guy was in coverage and he actually came running after me. Okay, you can throw your hands up for a pass all you want. I'm just looking for the first down. Okay, can we get that? No, Miller. Oh. That guy closed just enough. That was almost wide open. Perfect. Good catch, Winston. 21 yards on that one. Brings up inside the 25. Field goal range at least. No stamina, unfortunately, for Hill, but scrambles for a first down there. And Mason... Oh. Again. I love when they he makes that break. They all think he's going in. He goes out. There's no one around. And much like more before him, just threw that completely away. Hill's like, damn it, I'm not taking advantage of blown coverages. I want to earn my touchdowns. Okay. Mason called for the ball, and then it hit him right in the face. Coach wants to go for it. I want to go for it, too. We, we haven't got any stops on defense yet. Mason, uh, he got four. We needed six. And again, okay. Holy cross. Just why do I play you? It's not even a matter of him, like, just giving up all these catches. It's not that. Because everyone's doing that. The issue is that he never seems to be within 15 yards of the guy he's supposed to be covering. And, okay, well, we got a sack at least. Okay, good do good tackling by Hughes there. This is what I hate about hurry-up teams. Is they run a hurry-up, but they want to chew the clock. So now we're going to sit here for 15 more seconds until they snap the ball. Yep. Oh, well, they didn't pick up the first at least. All right. All right, so we're down by 10 points now because they got the field goal. There's less than two minutes left. Bright spots on the day. Paul Hill has looked pretty good, and up until this return, Sledge, really good day returning kicks. Not really doing anything in coverage, I don't think. I don't think they've really thrown to him. They've just been picking on Holy Cross all day. The problem is I know my offensive line is trash, so it's hard for me just to stay in the pocket where I'm supposed to. So we're scrambling away and probably blowing a lot of plays that could be open if I would just make the pass. Or to stay in the pocket to wait for it to continue. I just, I want to get down and get a touchdown. I don't even think there's a chance in hell we get a victory here. But I just like for a game that is not going to end up being a doubleheader, I'd like it to only be decided by one score. Mason, another big catch. Oh, Clark jumped that one. That was, uh, I think it was, I wasn't actually looking. <laughs> so, instead of getting it within one score, now it's going to look like more of a blowout. Mm. Did that get batted at the line, or was that just a lame duck pass? Because that didn't... That trajectory was not at all where it was supposed to go. That was supposed to go way in the back corner. I understand he jumped the route, but it just seemed like it was a little underthrown or something. Yeah, alright, we'll send this one out. Well, that sucks, but it's not at all surprising. That guy threw one incompletion, and it was that basically bomb pass that ended up getting picked. Man, 38-21, it, it was a lot closer than that. You guys saw it. So Allen went one for one for 23 yards on that screen pass. Hill, the numbers, they're lying a little bit here. 22 of 40, 277 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Now, the two picks, one of them, I made a very bad read. And the other one, I'm convinced he got, like, whacked or something. It was underthrown. And in a lot of the incompletions, there were a ton of throwaways. Like I said, I was scrambling out of the pocket a lot and throwing the ball away because I wasn't letting any routes develop. So that's on me. I honestly, I stopped running screen passes. I thought they were boring, but I should have put a few more of them in here, it looks like. 
Nothing to see for rushing. Hill with 20 yards and two touchdowns. Frazier only had 20 yards, and Allen actually got in here with 13. Mason to star on receiving, 11 catches, 135 yards. Winston, all these freshmen, 5 for 67 and a touchdown. Evans had 2 for 33. Frazier had 2 for 27. Webb had 1 for 12. Miller had 1 for 17. Johnson had 1 for 9. And a goose egg for Wade. Thornton and Thomas, each with 6 tackles today. Thomas also with the one pick that we had. We had 6 total TFLs and Jesse Smith with the only sack. Sledge had 229 kick return yards on 7 kicks. So 32.7 average is really good. Yeah, considering that game was basically a one-score game for uh, up until like the last two minutes, this isn't going to be a doubleheader today. Hopefully, we'll either like have some doubleheaders because we're getting blown out or we're blowing other teams out. But that whole national championship thing, yeah, you, you can throw that right out the window. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever it may be, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.